In today's video we're going to continue our chart work tutorials and I'm going to show you how to do a running fix. Say for example you're navigating in this area and you've only got one visual feature. Normally you can't get a fix from a single object but if you use a running fix actually you can. To start we just note down everything we know. We take a bearing of the tower at 099 degrees true and we know the time is 2200. We also know that our vessel's course is 142 degrees and we're doing 19 knots. We can then start plotting on the chart using our compass rows to get a bearing of 099 and drawing a line of position on the tower. Now we know we measured that from our position so our line is coming out this side of the tower. And we know that it's a line of position from a terrestrial object so we're going to illustrate that with a single open arrow pointing away from the object. Finally, we know the time of this line of position, so we're just going to add that on as well. Now, ordinarily we'd have done, for example, a star fix at 9pm or something like that, so we could have run that on and had a good guess of where we are along this line, but for the purpose of this example, we're going to pretend that we haven't got any of that. So instead, I'm just going to make a guess as to our position. We're somewhere along this line of position, because that was the bearing of the light. We, we just don't know how far along it we are, so... Let's just stick an estimated position right here. The symbol for an estimated position is a triangle, so we'll stick that on. It tells us it's not a fix, it's, it's kind of a guess as to our position. And of course we need to add the time, which we've got on the bearing line anyway. From our estimated position we need to add on our track line, which is 142 degrees true. Remember as it's true we can plot it straight on the chart, and we're ignoring the effects of set and drift today, so we can plot all of this directly. The reason we're plotting this on the chart is just to make sure we're still running in safe water and we can see there's clear water all around. If we plan to run on for 30 minutes we can also estimate the distance we're going to travel. We said that we're travelling at 19 knots so in half an hour we're going to travel 9.5 miles. This can give us another estimated position for a time of 22.30. As it gets to 22.30 we take another bearing of the tower and we find it now bears 039 degrees. As before, we can plot that using the compass rows to get another line of position. This is another terrestrial line of position, so we indicate it with a single open arrow. Now, something doesn't quite match up here because we've got this line of position saying we are somewhere along this line, but we've also got this estimated position saying we reckon we're going to be here at 2230, so something is amiss. Remember though, that estimated position was actually just a complete random guess along our previous line of position. So to make it more accurate, what we can do is transfer that initial line of position, because that's transferring our earlier uncertainty. We knew we were somewhere along that line, we just didn't know where, so we made a best guess. Just set your parallel rules along that first line of position and transfer it down through your estimated position. As it's a transferred terrestrial line of position, we indicate that with two open arrows on the end. Now we've actually got two lines of position at 2230. One of them is shot there and then, and the other is transferred from half an hour before. As we've got two lines of position crossing, we can actually plot a fix at 2230. This is the running fix. We took our first line of position, transferred it using our course and speed to get it at the same time as our second line of position, then with two lines at the same time, we plotted a fix. Of course, two lines crossing doesn't give us an accurate fix because we've got no way of knowing if one of them was wrong, but it's better than nothing. We've also got other inaccuracies built in because we don't know the accuracy and consistency of our course over the ground or our speed over the ground, so there could be variations in how we transferred that line. But nonetheless, a running fix is pretty much the best you can do if you've only got one terrestrial object and you need to confirm your position. If you've got any questions or comments, leave them down below. I'm just trying to get this channel restarted again, posting more tutorials just to try and help more people learn about maritime navigation. Until next time, thank you for watching and goodbye.